food. And this is amazing food. Those it ceramic is. pans cook a really good dish. I'll tell you they that do. We're all a little bit jealous, actually. I was yeah. going to have some, but um, well, I've got to get it. it. What no, do you want? Do you want a train or do you want a plane? <laughs> Cruise. I want to cruise. Okay, right. cruise. Um, we have some fantastic cruises coming up in the show as well, Keith. Yeah, we? we have. We've got some really, really good deals coming up. Um, we've got a great, I mentioned before, a great hot pick with, with Cunard, a great yes. deal there. We've got a special guest uh, on the show from do, Carnival, indeed. fantastic mm -hmm. American cruise company, mm -hmm. do really yes. fun cruises, and they're giving a great offer to going over to the, uh, the Caribbean. Um, so lots to look forward to, and a chance to go to Russia and Japan oh in the same cruise, which is just Now, amazing. I have a feeling, Keith, this is going to be a very, very busy show because we've got a maiden voyage as well. Oh, yes, oh, coming up in the show. True. Yes. Anthem, Anthem of the, the Seas. The Anthem of the Seas Sister coming of up. Quantum has just been launched. Mm. Yes, so that's very, very exciting. It is a very exciting show. If you do want to call our tour specialist of course it's 0800 781 5458 also have a look on the website planetcruise.co.uk forward slash tv and um, lots to show you shall we dive in shall we just dive in and see what we have for you we're going to start off with p and o now this is a fabulous cruise of course seven night norwegian fjords i know our lovely sean ryan has been on them the norwegian fjords absolutely loved it as well this is the azure as well Keith. yeah this is and um this is absolutely fun i mean obviously p and o 175 years they've been they've been running uh, offering people a chance to go and have a flavour of the world. And not only that now, but they offer you a flavour of fantastic food on board. A lot of uh, the UK's biggest culinary names are involved with P&O cruises. People like Marco Pierre White with his white room on board. You've got people like um, Ollie Smith who does the wines. You've got Atul Kutcher with his wonderful kind of flavours of the East. There's a really good selection of bars on board as well. And this particular ship that you're going to get a chance to go onto is Zero is one of P&O's biggest ships. So it was launched actually in 2010 by, by Darcy Bustle, oh, famous uh, yes, ballet dancer. Of course, yes. And it's funny I mention that, of course, because she's involved with Strictly. Indeed. Another thing they do with P&O is they do the Strictly cruises. People like Len Goodman uh, come on board and oh, they hold fabulous. some of the heats on board the ship. Oh, so they have a great focus that. on entertainment. They mm. have a great focus on relaxation. Uh, really, really friendly cruise line. And you've got the kind of West End style shows every night in the theatre. And remember, this is the thing about cruising. Everything is included. So you're going to see a shows every night. You can go and see game shows, live music, have food, really good quality food like I was just enjoying there and see amazing places all the way around the world and you unpack only once. Yes, exactly. Now, we have got a beautiful cruise for you here and an exclusive gift, by the way, on this one also. We'll talk about that a bit later on. We are starting off in Southampton, as Keith said, of course, and only unpacking once, which is fantastic. And um, we have got so much to show you in here, of course, and we're going to start off with that relaxing day at sea after boarding. Can I just so. say as well, that if you do take your kids for P&O, they have people like Noddy and Big Ears and Mr. Thanks. Bump coming yeah. to say hello, which I think is brilliant. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Noddy. I was going to say, for the big kids and the little kids. I'm exactly. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we start off? We've gone from Southampton. We've got a relaxing day at sea. So let's take a look at our fabulous destinations. OK, so yes, so heading off from Southampton, no worries about luggage restrictions there. Take as many pairs of shoes, Genevieve, or handbags you. as you like. Thank Ball you. dresses galore. Uh, for me, it would be lots of different socks. And, uh, and then, of course, relaxing day at sea to enjoy that wonderful ship. Before you head over to the fjords, and the best way to experience Norway is via the deck of a boat by exploring and this is great Bergen is your first chance uh, it's a beautifully quaint town with an old Hanseate wharf with these tall narrow buildings and variety of different warming colors it's an Esco protected it's great to wander around there you can also do a wonderful thing where you actually take the funicular an old funicular up to Mount Florian which gives you amazing views of the various uh, areas around the fjords you're getting an idea now of some of the imagery just general imagery around Norway of what you're going to see not only when you're in port but when you're sailing but the other great thing about about Bergen as well is that you can walk back down from Mount, Flo Mount Florian and experience this incredible fish market. Uh, and I definitely would say get some get, get some tasty fish there and enjoy yeah. some of the shellfish particularly. Okay, then you're heading off to your next port. This is one of the two UNESCO protected fjords in the whole of Norway, Geranga Fjord. It is stunning. It's hard to imagine. And again, none of the photos that we show you here, nothing I can say can possibly compare to actually being there, to being that ship. You see the ship down there? Yes. Oh going my past. Word. Look how small it is. The, the waterfalls <laughs> on the side there, the Seven Sisters. And you've got the yes. Suta waterfall opposite, trying to get a look in. There's the Seven Sisters. It's an incredible experience. And literally, you, you feel so small. You really do wonder at the size of creation as you wander yeah. into this amazing 
amazing fjord. And all you'll want to do is sit there with a cup of coffee or possibly a cup of tea or a cocktail and take it all in. You won't want to sleep, Look you won't want to do anything else, but just adore this wonderful view. You can climb up there, Mount Dusnilba, which you can see in the corner there, for amazing views. It's nearly 5,000 foot high. And you can also go out onto the Eagle Road Bend, which again gives you extraordinary views. It's all about the view here. Okay, then we're going to Flom. Mm -hmm. Translated, it means the little place between steep mountains. And it's set in the Song of Fjord, which is the world's longest and deepest fjord. Um, it's incredible. Again, you've got amazing uh, views for you to enjoy. Little farms clean to the side of these cliffs. You can ride here on the world's steepest railway along uh, really sharp bends and through cliff tunnels. Uh, you can also adventure into the White Caves of Goodvangen, where they have classical music. Uh, and a massive light show going on for you. And you can go and enjoy the goat's cheese at Underdale, where they have uh, 200 goats and three Norwegians. It's a good balance. <laughs> um, okay, now from there you then go through to Stavanger. Now Stavanger yes. is your final port of call. It's a sophisticated little city and it thrives on a patchwork of heather covered hills. This is a museum city. This is where you wait to do all your shopping. Um, it's brilliant. You've got a jar beaches nearby, 12 miles of, of a secluded, beautiful beaches that just stretch off. You've also got a chance here, as I say, to go to the, the Petroleum Museum and also the Norwegian Canning Museum, my two big recommendations. You might say, Keith, you're crazy, go and do them. Sean did, and he came back and said, Keith, it was oh, brilliant. he loved it, didn't he? Yeah. He really did. Mm. And the other big thing here is you can go out to, what we're going to see an image in a minute, of called the Troll's Tongue. Here it is. You can cruise down there, and you can be that person sitting on the edge of a Troll's Tongue. Um, it's wow. an amazing experience. Not for the faint-hearted, but definitely worth doing. <laughs> it amazing is absolutely cruise. fantastic. Um, you have, of course, another relaxing day at sea. And uh, back to Southampton. What a lovely cruise in those fjords. I know Sean highly recommended these. Um, now, you have got, of course, this amazing, we are on the Azor, of course, amazing Azor there. We're seeing some beautiful images here. We are. And remember, the first six people to call in for this get a free pair of binoculars. I know. So I the mean, first six people and, to and book for what the show. And what a cruise for the binoculars, because yeah. there is so much to see. Literally, at any one time, you're, you, you know, it's not just when you're in port. You are sailing for past beautiful mountains, waterfalls. There's wildlife, there's whales, there's, there's dolphins, all sorts in the water yep. and around you to experience as well. And then inside the ship, look at this, <gasps> the beautiful food. That's just in the main dining room, let alone the speciality restaurants, of which there are numerous ones that you can book and go and enjoy, and that amazing entertainment in the theatre. Now, we've got loads to tell you about this. First of all, a great price on this, £599 per person. Can you believe that price? Um, it's going to be a very, very busy show today. Mm. That's under £89 per person per night. Your exclusive free gift, now that is for the first six bookings made from this show. And the Mion Valley as well, which I think is a great idea, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. It's a half-price deal that we have have ongoing with the Mion Valley um, and I definitely would get involved with this because this is your chance to start your holiday a day early, have your parking included because you leave it at the hotel and then get a chauffeur transfer to the port and back. Taking that stress out of arriving oh, at the ship yes. and coming back, you know. So I really would recommend it. Southampton sometimes can get a little bit busy when you're arriving there with all the traffic. Mm -hmm. Let someone else do the driving, sit back and relax and enjoy the Mion Valley Marriott. Look now, the family four I was just going to say that about the family of four as well. Great price on that also for that family of four. And your deposit only £50 per person. So this obviously going to be a very, very busy one. If you do want to take a look at that, of course, you can call now at 0800 781 5458. All the different prices there, of course. And if you want to, oh, you can go to a balcony with those binoculars. Yes. Um, <laughs> now we've got lots more to show you, lots to get through as well. We are wetting your appetite here for those fantastic cruises. But we've got a very special guest as well. Luke Smith has joined us on Carnival Cruises. Hello Luke, lovely to see you. Thank you very much for having me. It's nice really to be nice to have you. Tell us a little bit about yourself first of all. Uh, well I work for Carnival Cruise Lines, heading up uh, relationships with travel agents here in the UK and Planet Cruise are my key account and great, uh, great to be here again bringing yes. some exclusive deals. Now you do, I understand you're going to be joining us maybe every month to bring us these very, very special deals. So once you see them, grab them because they're not always going to stay there either, are they? Luke? No, these are really time sensitive deals that we yeah. give just to Planet Cruise. So these prices can't be got through any other agency. And it just, it signifies the, the strength of our relationship with Planet Cruise. Absolutely. So. so you heard it here, it is exclusive. Let's <laughs> take a look at this now. This is from Carnival Cruise Lines. This is on board the Carnival Breeze. Now this is lovely because it's six nights and it is the Grand Caribbean cruise from Miami and State. Tell us a little bit more. So Carnival Breeze is our newest ship, brand new, built in uh, the middle of 2012. So she's uh, about 3,600 passengers. She's absolutely incredible and she really brings to life what Carnival Cruise Lines is all about, which is fun, informal, relaxed cruising. I mean, you're in the Caribbean 
don't worry about dressing up for dinner, don't worry about set dining times, don't worry about doing anything other than what you want, when you want. I mean, you've got incredible bars on board, uh, you've got amazing restaurants, so the variety of food on board Carnival is incredible, from sushi and Mexican to steak, 24-hour pizzerias, seaside bar like deck barbecues, everything like that is absolutely out of this world. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it really is such a relaxed atmosphere on board. I mean, we've got adult-only relaxation areas which come with no additional cost. Yes. And that's really what we're all about is the value for money on board. I mean, once you're on board, the vast majority of what you, you do and you experience is included in the cost of your cruise. And even if you wanted to try and make your cruise all-inclusive, we've got the Cheers Beverage Program, which is re uh, really, really well-priced and everything mm -hmm. as well. So this just you can see there, water parks, comedy clubs, uh, there's mini golf, you've got uh, amazing theatre shows, you've got Carnival Breeze has got a 4D thrill cinema with the oh, seats wow. move and it sprays water at you whenever you're, you're depending <laughs> on what's on the, the 3D screen. So there's just so much going on board and oh, a, a great time. You've got such a great cruise to try and do it all. Oh. There is a, I believe you're right, you've got the Red Frog and the Blue Iguana yeah. at the front on deck, haven't you? Absolutely. And they have almost kind of like sing-off battles. Yeah, I mean, you, really? you've got yeah. one is a tequila bar, one's a rum bar. They're out on deck with the Mexican cantina and the burger joint by the main Guy, pool. Guy Ferrari. Guy, Guy Fieri's, Fieri, uh, yeah, Fieri, Guy's yeah. burger joint, which okay. is obviously a celebrity mm -hmm. burger joint. He's got a, a program called Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives on the Food Network. Um, but we don't charge, regardless of the fact that it's a celebrity-endorsed restaurant, we, we don't charge, all included in the cost of your cruise. I so, love the great. idea it's, of this. It's so relaxed, so informal. I mean, it's honestly the best holiday I've ever been on. So. Oh, and I have to say, you know, those prices, well, as we said, they are exclusive to Planet Cruise and they are time-limited as well. So do make sure if you love this, we're going to show you some great destinations as well. It is 16 nights, so you have got, this is a, a really mm. nice sort of chunk of time great as well. scenery as well. It is the Grand Caribbean Cruise, of course, and a Miami stay also. I don't think it gets better than this, does it? <laughs> Let's have a look. So we start off, we fly London to Miami and we've got a one night stay. Yeah, that's right. So you've got a night nice stay there in Miami to get you ready, to get you fresh, to get on board the Carnival Breeze. What an amazing ship. Luke's just told us about it. Relax. This is, if you think cruising is all formality, this is the total antithesis of that. This is all about the fun. The first port of call after a couple of days at sea is going to be Aruba. And this is incredible. Uh, it's got an arid interior. It's almost like a, like a, a wonderful kind of interior with cacti and desert. And then these gorgeous beaches oh. that spread all. I learned to dive in Aruba back yeah. in 2000. Yeah, we used to be in there every week. And I love this island. It's a great mm. Part of the Dutch Antilles, really recommend it. Great diving, uh, great chance to relax on the beaches. Then we go to Curacao, another one of the Dutch Antilles, and this is beautiful, another little Dutch island. Um, and it's an ESCO protected, the actual town centre here with these bright coloured houses. I love these. Really re 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 reminisc reminiscent of, uh, of the Netherlands itself. You've got loads of lovely little lagoons you can head out to again with white sand beaches and gin clear waters, great for snorkelling. You can do a trolley train tour, it's a great way of getting around for the first time if you haven't been there before. I also recommend going out to the Ostrich Park. Uh, they're quite friendly little fellas. Uh, and you can do, one of the things I did here was a guided jet, uh, jet ski trip as well, which is really, really good fun. So the tours, again, that you'll get, mm. the, op the opportunities you're going to get uh, through Carnival for the tours are going to be absolutely amazing. Then you've got a fun day at sea before you hit Grand Turk. And this is in the Turks and the Caicos Islands. Uh, it's a small island bursting with Caribbean charm. And it's got stepping back in time. It's got a much more oldly worldly feel here. And you've got Gibbs K, which is home of the Stingray Encounter. I've done this. You can hold the Stingrays. You can stroke the Stingrays. You feed the Stingrays calamari. It's an incredible experience. You get in with the Stingrays. Amazing. Okay, then you're going back uh, to Miami. And this is where you really get a chance to experience Miami, to wander down South Beach, to see the muscle men pumping, uh, to get the kind of idea of the Art Deco splendor, to go and cruise down Millionaire's Row on Biscayne Bay and see the homes of Matt Damon and Gloria Estefan and people like that. Uh, you can go through and enjoy, or if you rent a car and head out to Key Biscayne itself, go over and see the Miami Sea Aquarium, which is absolutely stunning. If you love the underwater world but don't want to get wet, that's a way to do it. And the best beach is in the, the Bill Baggs Cape Florida State Recreation Area, and it's really, really beautiful there because it's really set back. But again, you get an idea of some of the fun that you can see around this yes, part of the world. I've not even mentioned Little Havana. I've not even mentioned about the bar life here, but mm. it's incredible. And the Everglades, of course, the River of Grass. Now, a fun day at sea before we go to Ojo Rias. This is Spanish for eight rivers. This mm. is Jamaica. This is an incredible place. This is a chance for you to follow the footsteps of Johnny Cash and Lennox Lewis and float down the Martha Bray River on a bamboo raft. This is a chance for you to go to Duns River Falls. They're tiered like a wedding cake. And you can walk up them as the water kind of cascades over you. It might even 
even gets me romantic, that's saying something. Um, <laughs> you can swig the witch's brew at the Rose Hall Great House, which was named after Annie Palmer, who was a white witch, apparently you lived there. Um, and if you want to, have a nice jog, Chariots of Fire style, along the, along the beach. It's a bit hotter than it was where they filmed it with Chariots of Fire. And dolphins, you can swim with dolphins here. And again, Jamaica, full of friendly smiles, the Afro-Caribbean charm, the jerk chicken, the spices that you get there. Okay, then we're going back to Grand Turk. You've already been there. A second chance to go and enjoy those stingrays, Wonderful. amazing beaches. And then a fun day at sea before you hit Nassau in the Bahamas. Now, this is only 75 miles off the coast of Florida. There's about 200 islands in total in the Bahamas. There's only a few of them that are in Inhabited. This is one of my favourites, Nassau, and it's here you're going to get a chance to go through to I love the Aldestra Gardens. You've got iguanas, you've got monkeys, you've got jaguars, and the flamingos that parade. They actually do a parade. They walk in in line and they do this parade as they come in and out. It's an incredible experience. That's the Atlantis Casino. Yes. Uh, really great to go and get involved in the Atlantis Casino. Um, you, you, you pay to go in there for, 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 for the day, and there's loads of stuff involved all around there, along with the gambling. It's great for the kids. Loads of beaches on your front doorstep, and I would also recommend Fort Charlotte if you'd like your history. Um, a great chance. In fact, it was named after King George III's beloved Queen. Uh, and it's great for views of the island uh, and a great bit of history. So an incredible itinerary, this, uh, it from is, Carnival. It? Yes. it really, really is. And yeah. not only fun in all these ports, but fun on the ship. Well, exactly. I mean, Luke, you talked us through that wonderful ship as we're seeing there as well, the Carnival Breeze. I mean, one more time, and we were seeing that. Look at that Absolutely. colourful. And this ship and the brand itself really does complement the Caribbean so, so well because it's such a relaxed... Uh, sort of laid back atmosphere, you're talking about Jamaica yes. uh, and all of these things you can do as short, uh, like you were talking about ashore, you can do as part of the shore excursion program on board Carnival. You've got driftwood signs as well, haven't yeah. you, around the uh, ship? Everything like is the, in the, Caribbean. the Caribbean Red yeah. Frog Pub uh, is absolutely amazing where we brew our own uh, lager, Thirsty mm -hmm. Frog Red. Um, you've got just so much going on with the piano bars, the uh, the cocktail bars on board, the amazing places to eat. The steak restaurant is one of the best steak restaurants I've ever eaten in in my life, and it's only $35 for a five-course incredible meal. That is incredible. Um, it's, there's just so much variety. There's uh, amazing spas with the Cloud9 Spa where you've got all the latest treatments. So really a great way to chill out, relax, and, and spend the time. And we should say time. that $35, is that, that's for one of the restaurants that you, you, know, you can choose to go yeah. and eat in. But there's a lot of the food on uh, board is included. 80% in is yeah. included. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at main restaurants, buffet restaurants, 24-hour room service, 24-hour pizzerias, fantastic. everything. I mean, oh. all the other stuff. It's so much to do. And we've got more good news for you because of the price as well on this. I mean, this is just one, two, four, nine per person. That works out under £79 per person per night. You've got return flights from London and all overseas transfers included there as well. And um, This is absolutely incredible. You have got, of course, a lead date there the 13th of February. You can upgrade to a balcony if you want to do that also. It is absolutely incredible from Carnival Cruise Lines, of course, on the Carnival Breeze. And, of course, you can call up right now. But, as Luke said, he brings us these deals. They're exclusive to Planet Cruise. You just need to be a little bit quick uh, for these ones. Um, and just uh, very, very quickly, on top of that, these are great deals that we've got for the 14-night cruise. Planet Cruise have also got some exclusives they can do for a seven-night option uh, as well. So yes. call the, the guys and the team uh, from 899 for those, for the seven-night ones. And Wonderful. obviously, uh, more dates available than that we got on the screen. Right, so. you can call the experts right now to get these. There are some ideas of the prices. If you do want to call up on 0800 781 the experts will talk to you. Now, thank you so much to our lovely Luke for joining us no on worries. Carnival thank Cruises. You for me. So you'll be back soon again with another great you deal. You won't keep me away. I, I uh, absolutely <laughs> love this. So, yeah, I'll be coming after your job soon. This okay, is, uh, this watch is out. what I want. This, uh, <laughs> it's nice to be able to come and, and get these exclusive absolutely. deals out to the customers. Thank so. you so, so thank much. Thank you very much. Uh, we have got loads more coming up for you. Of course, we have got the Royal Caribbean. Now, this is very, very special because this, of course, is that fantastic maiden voyage. It is, of course, the anthem of the seas, which I have to say, when I saw this, it was absolutely incredible. Um, Keith, incredible here. This is very, very important because it is, of course, the all-inclusive yeah. Maiden cruise. It will be. This will be the maiden cruise of Anthem of the Seas. Of course, she's the sister ship, still being built as we speak. Because Quantum, the first of this 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 fleet of brand new ships, uh, was launched this month. 
uh, just a few weeks ago to great accord. You're seeing some of the different things here, the ripcord. This is the iFly experience where you've also got this massive entertainment centre called Cplex with bumper cars. Um, and, you know, basketball with Shrek. You've got the DreamWorks experience, which you, which you always have with Royal Caribbean. They've even upped the game there. You've got family-connected state rooms. You're seeing them here. So a whole family oh, like can that, have yeah. privacy, but all be together in the same area. Mm. The North Star, which is that huge, big uh, cylindrical yeah. glass stone, which goes right the way, 360 degrees around the ship. Um, so many different food options. It's a very exciting ship. And if yes. you look online, it's it, you know everyone's talking about uh, Quantum at the moment and now calls Anthem. This is going to oh, be Anthem. Oh, you know, well, to be on a maiden voyage, you know, that is absolutely incredible. You could be the first to taste that glass of champagne on the maiden voyage. Yeah. You could be the first to do so much on this. It is absolutely incredible. There'll be a great party and, as you leave and oh, you know, as you head off. There yes. always is on the maiden cruises. And and then that, that, that whole experience, the whole buzz, everything being brand new, yeah. the crew themselves, the energy on board is mm. going to be absolutely immense it's going to be history making it is indeed so please make sure you get your bookings in for this because i think this is going to be very very busy on this show now we start off in southampton we've got a couple of relaxing days at sea to take in the beautiful anthem of the seas there's so much and to then do. we've got there's so much to do isn't there Key? v goes first okay uh, it clings to the the slopes of the snow-capped monte del castro overlooks a massive bay from which uh, the old spanish armada was once launched against the uk if you like your history uh, now it's got a wonderful old Fisherman's Quarter, which is great to wander around, um, and I would definitely recommend doing that and, and having a, a lunch at the fish market there. It's also a gateway through to Santiago de Compostela. It's great for wine tasting. There's some great white wines from this region, the Albarino wine, which has risen to international acclaim. Remember, this is Green Spain. This is where a lot of the Spaniards themselves come and holiday, and it's a lush full of lush country scenery and a chance for you to try some of the world's finest seafood. Okay, then we're going on to quite a rare port, uh, Gijon, but most of the streets here are cobblestone. Very few companies and ships visit this and it really is beautiful. It's like stepping back in time. Uh, barely two cars wide, some of, the, some of these wonderful streets, and full of beautiful re renovated buildings and a chance to go out into the countryside and see some wonderful retreats like you're seeing there. Um, each side of the old core is flanked by a huge curving beach which you can go and relax on and there's more than 13 miles of bike lanes. That's what I loved about it. Wow. So I was able to cycle uh, and see every, everything from, from the back of the foot. It's a lovely way to see it. Absolutely. Place, isn't it? And again, a lot of the ships carry bikes with them, or there's private rental places that you can mm -hmm. do uh, ashore. So when you then get to Bilbao, this is great. This is perched on the hills high above the, the rust coloured waters of the Nervian River. And it's a thriving port. It's the commercial heart of the Basque Country, which is the heart of kind of bullfighting territory in Spain and tapas uh, and flamenco. Um, now you've got a great chance here to see uh, architect Frank Gary's magnificent piece of sculpture which you're seeing in the corner there which is on the Nervian River this is the Nervian River there's lots of quirky architecture but you've got uh, the, the wonderful museum there which just sits gorgeous and it's, it's as interesting inside as it is on the outside I would just say walk along the Nervian River it's like a, there it is the Guggenheim Museum you see it very very yeah. quirky amazing artwork inside yeah. have a walk along the riverfront right past there pop in and have a look at that and then just enjoy again uh, the feeling of this place which is very green very very open Open, uh, and very very friendly and if you've got a chance go out to San Sebastian home of the Spanish royal family great little seaside resort get some lobster okay relaxing day at sea before you then go to uh, Le Havre now Le Havre is your port for Paris mm -hmm. okay Paris we all know Paris. Look at that. You can see the Eiffel Tower. My favourite thing there, uh, the Notre Dame Cathedral. I oh, love the Notre Dame Cathedral. Isn't it? Absolutely amazing yes. place. Uh, you've got the Arc de Triomphe. You've got yes. the Champs Elysees. The people believe one of the most beautiful avenues in the world. Mm. Um, I think it's all about the river, the River Seine, and, and, and cruising down the river because it's really beautiful by day or by night. It's very romantic because there's so many bridges that are lamp lit, particularly in the evening, that you can get a chance to see. Um, but it's a great place to go and see, uh, go and enjoy. And you've got the Louvre, full of uh, full of works of art like the Mona oh, Lisa. Uh, and the Venus de Milo. Aww. And if you don't want to go to Paris, then go through to the D Day beaches, which is very, you know, very of the moment, or, or on Fleur. So lots to do there before you then head back to Southampton. Again, get in touch. I can always give you more information because we're always short for time um, to tell you Absolutely. everything that I want to. Um, now, we are, of course, on the Anthem of the Seas, the maiden voyage to France and Spain. And we are seeing something that has been in lots of the media as well, of course. It really has. Now, Jamie's Italian is one of the restaurants on board, you know, what? for people that are yes. big fans of, of Jamie Oliver, the mm -hmm. naked chef. He won't be naked on board, but his food will definitely be on board. You've got the Sea Plague Dock Dockhouse. You've got Johnny Rockets, which is their, their kind of old kind of 1950s American diner. Um, and the Robo Show, they've got they've got actually robotic 
uh, bartenders. This is 270, uh, and this is uh, oh, 270 degrees over yes. two and a half decks during the day or the, or the sunlight. Those are windows you're seeing there, but at night they project they project videos onto it, become video <gasps> screens. But during the day, and those the area are spinning down. But during the day, that's just sunlight pouring in. What an as you experience! Sit there for a coffee. Yeah, it's an amazing experience. And the interior staterooms, the big thing here, they all have virtual balconies, so you get real-time footage played uh, of what's outside the ship. So no more are you inside, yes. in, you know, just in the dark in an interior cabin. Mm -hmm. Now you've you've always know what's going on Great around idea. and outside you as well. Um, now we've got lots to talk about here. Of course, it is the maiden voyage. If you want to be part of that, take a look at this: free drinks, free tips, free parking. Free interior and our sorry to interior to balcony upgrade here as well for you. That is eight nights on board, and of course it is a maiden voyage. Now there's a low deposit on this, ninety nine pounds per person when booking the cruise today. It works out for so under a, I know under one hundred and twenty nine pounds per person yeah. per night. It, I mean, when you think about the fact that everything you're getting, all you're making basically all inclusive because the yes. tips are there, the parking's there, the drinks is massive as well, and it's a balcony. Um, Oh, I, I don't know what to yeah. say, it's a very, very good deal. I would imagine this is um, setting the phones alight right now because it is absolutely incredible. And that deposit so low as well at just £99 per person. I would definitely jump on the phones for this right now and go on the website if you can do. And we've got loads more to show you. Um, I would say busy for that one at the moment, so do make sure you get on the phones for that and speak to our lovely experts there. 0800 5458 and take a look on the website as well. Not only have we got some fantastic cruises, well, amazing we also have got a hot pick it's sizzling hot and it is Cunard this is wonderful key it is it really is Look, it's Queen Mary too my, my last ship that I had the honor of, uh, of working on board um, eight nights now I never thought I'd see this I've got to say I worked for Cunard for three years I yeah. never thought I'd see eight nights 549 pounds <gasps> per person so Samuel Cunard will be turning in his grave saying what's happened <laughs> what's going on what's going on here uh, this is five star luxury with, with, with a, a company that have been around for 174 years this look at this balconies from 699 this is for a transatlantic this is how the cruise industry Became into being yes, because of the yes. because of the journey from the old world into the new world on liners where people emigrated where they moved their whole life and you can follow in the footsteps going over to New York this amazing city um, and of course as always with Planet Cruise we can make it bespoke we can give you a stay in New York um, we can give you a chance to enjoy New York before then you fly back do some shopping I mean it's just before December what a great chance to get some real bargains in you know just take just take a just take a pair of pants yeah. and a pair of socks on the way over stay in your cabin and then you can fill your suitcase with amazing bargains from Bloomingdale's and uh, and then come I back. like your thinking well this is this I is like it. your Honestly, thinking it here yes Thomas, that's what I do Amazing um, bargain. It is That's absolutely incredible. Pounds. Do you know, I went quiet because I was staring at the prices. I had to re really look at them again and again because that really is. That balcony cabin from only six nine nine per person. What a hot that pick. Includes we have. That includes your flight back. That includes so this is an eight this is an eight night holiday. Yes. And then you fly back. Oh. I mean, do the math. L look online and see if you can get a flight out there for that and return. And that's just a flight without any accommodation, without all your food, without all the entertainment. I, I, I think our lovely director has gone off to book it, by the way. Yes. Um, yeah. And um, now stay in touch with us here, of course, at Planet Cruise. We've got loads of ways to do that for you, of course. Now we have got, you can sign up to the newsletter if you want to do that. You can call now and get a free copy of the Journey magazine, which is lovely. I'll peruse through it. Um, and, of course, check out the brand new website for Planet Cruise as well. And, of course, that's planetcruise.co.uk. And that's forward slash TV. Loads more to show you. Um, loads more to get through as well. I cannot get over that hot pick and of course that maiden voyage as well can we do better i think there's loads more for you we've got our fantastic princess cruises now this is on the diamond princess and here's our lovely john to tell you more princess cruises first set sail in 1965 with a single ship cruising to mexico today the line has grown to become the third largest cruise line in the world princess is known for being a bit of an industry innovator because over the years they've introduced so many new features and experiences on board their ships that have been so popular, other cruise lines are now copying them. Among them are affordable balconies on many of the ships outside cabins, as well as 24-hour dining, and a choice of dining venues and flexible dining times. Princess ships also debuted features such as Movies Under the Stars and the Sanctuary Adults Only Oasis. In the fitness center, you'll find all the latest equipment, plus a range of classes including cycling, pilates, yoga, stretch, and abs. 
but if chilling out and being pampered is more your thing, then you might want to head up here to the tranquil environment of the Lotus Spa. With a menu of dozens of calming and rejuvenating treatments, the Lotus Spa is guaranteed to be one of the highlights of your cruise. Throughout the day on your Princess Cruise, the chefs are busy preparing your next memorable meal. All bread, cakes and pastries are baked three times a day. All sauces are prepared by hand. Speciality restaurants include Sabatini's, Princess's signature Italian restaurant. The Crown Grill offers a variety of premium beef and seafood dishes. But tonight's formal night and I've decided to eat in the main restaurant. As I'm booked on any time dining, I can just turn up and eat at whatever time I like. Princess are known for their dynamic and exciting production shows with some of the largest casts at sea. Tonight we've got a 70s theme with Blame It on the Boogie. All the shows are produced in-house and feature lively music and stunning choreography, featuring one of the largest casts at sea. As well as shows, you can enjoy a night of stand-up comedy, a game show, a sing-song in the piano bar, a romantic dance, or just a quiet night with friends in a lounge bar. Something completely different. How about a movie under the stars? It's a signature feature of all princess ships, and it's a great way to end the day. We're all smiles today because there's so much to show you, and it's lovely. I think, and a day like today, when it, you know, sort of, and the weather changing, oh, the winter coming it's in, it's miserable, so isn't it, outside? Oh. This makes you want to be away somewhere warm, which Absolutely. is what we're giving you a chance to do here. We are indeed. Now, you've oh. just seen the lovely princess, of course, the princess cruises, the diamond princess, and we are flying London to Tokyo. Oh, yes. Now, we have got a fabulous day in a five star hotel. Yeah. This is amazing. It is three nights. This is all included in the price in a five star hotel, sitting in the shadow of the magnificent Mount Fuji. Um, I mean, Tokyo is an amazing place. What's a tiny fishing village named Edo? Now, look at it. Yeah. It's the largest metropolitan area in the world. It's an exciting city full of endless possibilities. It really is an incredible place to enjoy. There's a lot of great shopping, restaurants, museums, temples, gardens. I love the Tsuki fish market. It's the busiest and largest fish market in the world. Um, and it's just an incredible experience. You must go there. Even if you don't like fish, push yourself to go there. Then go to Electric Town, Denki Guy. This is the latest in gadgetry. And I I've got to say, the things you'll see there, the robotics and everything else will blow your mind. Then the Meiji Shrine, if you want to just slow it down, which stands in this dense florist grade at the very heart of Tokyo. Or look at it all from a Tokyo city view. The 52nd floor observation deck of the Moiri Tower is absolutely amazing. A beautiful part of the world that just will will literally take your breath away. Okay, then you're going to transfer from the hotel to the port and you'll embark Princess Cruises, a uh, Diamond Princess, for nine nights. Wow. And this is amazing. A yes. uh, great itinerary now because relaxing day at sea on board this amazing ship before you hit Koshiro. This overlooks the mighty Pacific Ocean in northern Japan. It's known as the Town of Mist. And you're going to see a lot of these, those Japanese cranes. Um, it's one, they're actually endangered species, and it's the best place to see them. Uh, and they're beautiful creatures on this massive mm. marshland called the Kashiro Marsh, the lush nat uh, na national park. And there are over 2,000 varieties of wildlife and plants for you to see, and these wonderful, graceful creatures. You've also got Lake Aklan, which is a beautiful crater lake. And there you've got this rare algae. It's amazing. And it's like, they're like... Um, green spheres, green balls, and they, they're as big as soccer balls, and it's an algae, and oh, it's right. absolutely incredible. Uh, all I want to say is go and experience it, um, and I'm not even mentioned, of course, the, my favourite part, the Fisherman's Wharf, where you buy a bowl of rice, and then you walk around and you taste all the different types of fish dishes. It's incredible. With the rice? Yeah, with the oh. rice. Okay, then we've got a relaxing day at sea before we then go to uh, Korsakov. This is Russia, would you believe it? <laughs> Russia stroke Japan, uh, yeah. and it's a former penal colony. It's a real mix of fascinating buildings and, and offices with a mixture of Russian, Russian and Japanese structures. Um, okay, then we're going through to Atoru, and this is... Um, well, what can I say? It's set against the, this amazing backdrop of this rugged west coast full of national parks. Uh, you've got these wonderful canals all the way through that you can enjoy. I mean, just wow. look at the greenery stretching yeah. out behind Gorgeous, you. Um, the actual canal that you saw there, Atulu Canal, is lined with these stone warehouses that are now being restored into restaurants and shops. You can go and taste the Nika uh, whiskey, which you used to have on board with Cunard, and it's amazing. Um, a neat, really great whiskey, and you, you can actually see where they brew it there during the old Scottish uh, methods of distillation. Um, then you've got a chance to go and relax in the hot springs or go through to Sapporo with the host of the 1972 Winter Games. Mm -hmm. And that's an incredible place because they've got great parks, great views, and a great chance to go to Jidamura, which is Japan's historical theme park, and you can see a thrilling ninja show. Hata! <laughs> yeah, that's my ninja impression. 
Okay, uh, Hacker Dad says thanks. <laughs> it was great, wasn't it? I just wasn't expecting it, Keith. You didn't see my kind of chop. Yeah, you did. You did the whole thing. You great. missed the whole missed, lot. Everyone missed out. We'll do it again there. when we come back. Uh, so, Hacker Dad say <laughs> here is great. You've got a chance to enjoy the mountain, of course, that this place is named after. Um, and you can walk the ruins of this amazing fort. This is it. This is what it's all about. Do go here, whatever you do. All those moats there are filled yes. with carp. Uh, and filled um, with just uh, also with cherry trees. You see all the trees around yes. there? They're cherry trees. So, again, uh, in autumn when they turn, the colours, yeah. absolutely stunning. And this is an UNESCO protected fort. Uh, it's a military monument and it's just absolutely stunning. It's one of the most beautiful things I've seen in the world. Um, you can also head out uh, and enjoy the what they call the Enuma. Quasi National Park, which is a fabled nature preserve, and it's known as one of the most beautiful landscapes in Japan. Just think about the wonderful ideas you have of Japanese gardens and then magnify it by a million oh, times, stuff. then you'll be getting there. Yeah. Again, a great cruise this, it really is. Final port of call is a Mori. Uh, it's full of apple orchards, cherry blossoms, and snow covered mountains uh, before you then have a relaxing day at sea before you hit back and uh, go back to Tokyo. Incredible oh, cruise. It, it is, really and is. very unusual as well to see the Japan and Russia, isn't it? It yeah, is, yeah. It's, it's a very unusual port. It mm. really is, it's one to really tick off, do, do, do two uh, big countries like that Absolutely. in one cruise. Absolutely. Um, of course, we are on the Diamond Princess, as you saw in a little clip earlier on as well. There's so lovely accommodation here, and yeah. so much to do. They are, there? I mean, an American cruise line, very friendly, great quality on service, and they innovate an awful lot. But look at this, look at that, <gasps> now, look at those deals. let me tell you about this, because um, again, I think this is gonna be very very, very busy. Great price there for you, of course. Um, you've got return flights from London, plus all the overseas transfers. Um, also, that single special, I know lots of you are asking about that, 2799, which is a great price. That's nine nights on board Princess Cruise. When you think that about is, how, you know, the distance involved in yes. this and where you're going, it's an incredible price. And of course, there's a lot of uh, solo travellers that, that are buying from Planet Cruise at the moment mm. yeah. because they trust us because we've been around for so long. Award and winning. the deals are so good. Mm. But look at that, it's, it's, it's really incredible. The other thing I would say here is the prices have just dropped, Genevieve. They've literally just dropped uh, earlier today. So this is a great chance for you to get a bargain that may not be around for long. Now that may not be around for long. There's the details there for you as well. It works out just £127 per person per night, which I think is absolutely incredible. And now don't forget, of course, you can call on 0800 781 5458 if you want to talk to our lovely cruise experts. They're ready and waiting to take your call, though I think they're pretty busy right now. Now next we have got MSC Cruises. This is on the Fantasia. Another amazing cruise view. 11 nights. Now this is an Easter exclusive as well for you. And of course it's Italy, Greece and Turkey. So again, first of all, we are on the MSC Fantasia. Yeah, this is an Italian cruise company. They're actually the largest privately owned cruise company in the world, owned by the Aponte family. And they've been around for a long time, but people are only really just recognizing how good they are because they've got so many new ships recently. In fact, they've got two uh, ships on order at the moment for billions of pounds. They're constantly, constantly creating these beautiful, beautiful ships. Now think about Ferrari, think about Gucci, think about Valentino, think about all these big brands that you associate with Italy and then put that into cruising and you get an idea of MSC, yeah. you get an idea of the quality of what the ships look like and of the experience and service on board. Um, it really is a great opportunity for you to enjoy uh, a beautiful ship with Swarovski crystal staircases and, and gorgeous, gorgeous massive open windows with huge views. Uh, children under the age of 18 actually get to cruise free very often with MSC, which is what's so good about this. So that it's is really fantastic. good if you are cruising yes. with a family, do get in touch. Mm. This ship's only been out since 2008, so it's a very new ship. Uh, it's got a great sports bar on board if you love your sports or you don't want to miss out on any of the matches. Um, you've got a great selection of different foods and wines, and, 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 and as always, an amazing spa, a Balinese spa where you can have a Turkish bath, uh, where there's a spa bar if you like your healthy stuff. I know you and I are both into that, so you can get your juices, um, great gyms as well. There's even a dedicated spot for yoga. It's an incredible experience. Um, and as always, big, big shows every evening, uh, lots of magic, uh, all singing, all dancing, big spectacles, you know. Yeah. I love your description as well. You're mixing all those wonderful Italian things into, but you that, know, under, yeah, absolutely. I love that. Yeah. It just really describes it so well, doesn't it? Let's have a look at where we're going. We go from London to Genoa. Um, we transfer from the airport and we embark MSC. Now we've got a relaxing day at sea and we've got 11 nights cruising, my word. Yeah, we have. So from Genoa, uh, I do, we go then through for a relaxing day at sea before we hit Greece. Catacolon is the first port. Uh, it's a sleepy little gateway to the most famous landmark in Greece, Olympia the birthplace of the Olympic Games, where the Olympic flame is lit. And uh, it's a great chance to go and see these ruins and see where the god Zeus used to rule the roost. Then you're heading out from here through to Heraklion, which is the main port there for Crete. Uh, I love Crete. It's one of my favorite islands. Uh, it's a vibrant cosmopolitan island. 
uh, full of great life. You can take a trip through to Knossos, uh, Knossos Palace, of course, this is where Ari Ariadne and the Minotaur, the legend of that comes from. So if you do go and explore Knossos, take a ball of thread just in case you do get lost. Okay. Um, you can also go through to Samara Gorge, it's the longest gorge in Europe, great place to go and walk, um, a, 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 you know, and kind of just enjoy the spectacular scenery, take some water with you, and as you come to the end, you look out across the Libyan Sea, it's magical. Oh, Drive up the road to the standing, stunning Arcadian Monastery, um, or go and enjoy Spinalonga Island, one of the last places in the world, uh, which is actually a leper's island, where they were actually they used to send them. There's a lot of history there as well. My favourite place, though, the Reptile Rescue Centre. Go and see Dimitri the Octopus, who can open a jar to get his lunch. Ah. Say hello from me. Say key sends his love. Okay, <laughs> then we're going to go through to Rhodes. Rhodes is great. Now, Rhodes is lovely, uh, baked in more hours of sunshine than any other Greek island. Um, it's a fascinating place full of glitzy, sandy beaches. Rhodes Old Town, of course, built by the Spitalonites, is, is worth exploring. And this is the Acropolis in Lindos, which you'll have to do a little journey from where you dock. Uh, apparently, the view from the Acropolis from Lindos is most spectacular in Greece, according to many travel experts. I love Rhodes Old Town itself. Again, you can wander around the medieval streets, making back to the full 14th century, Gothic, Byzantine, Greek and Middle Eastern flavours all giving you an idea of this magical place. Um, and all I'll say to you is, if you don't want that and you just want to go and relax on the beach, go to Falaraki, get yourself a jet ski, parasailing, you know what I mean? Um, or get yourself a, a Gyros. Okay, then we're going to Izmir. Uh, cradle between the mountains to the east and the south and then the Aegean Sea to the west. This is your gateway to Ephesus, the amazing Roman city, uh, and also the ruins of Pergamon and Asclepion. A uh, great place to go if you love your history. Okay, then we're going through to Athens. Uh, Prayers is the port. You're going to go through to see the mighty Acropolis with the Parthenon standing for over 2,000 yeah. years on the top. It's a great place to go shopping. People don't know this. Gents, if you've got like, ladies that like to spend, hide the credit card because they're going to really rack it up on this one. It's a great place. There's so many bargains. And I've got to say, you can go out to the Corinth Canal as well. You can enjoy the history of the Corinth Canal. You can also go through to the ancient Agora where people like Plato and Socrates used to declaim. Um, and you can go and see the skirted changing of the guard, um, which is just magical as well. Okay, relaxing day at sea before we go to Malta. Oh, sailing into this is like sailing into a set of Game of Thrones or Lord mm. of the Rings or The Hobbit. It's yeah. incredible. And you've got this magical harbour, again, built by the Knights of St. John, the Spitalers, um, and it's incredible, the history here. The whole of Malta uh, got a, was awarded a medal for bravery, the George Cross, after World War II because of their efforts. It's a wonderful place. They love the Brits. Uh, there's a great feeling here. I say recommend you just exploring the Upper Baraka Gardens and looking out at the views. Um, go to Ollie's last bar with Oliver Reed, all of his last his last round where they were filming Gladiator right. here before he sadly left, yeah. left the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and his last order is up on the wall. It's incredible, the amount that he ordered. Um, <laughs> and then you can go through to Medina, which is the island's old capital. And it's a great walled city, dripping with medieval and Baroque architecture. They call it the silent city because cars are forbidden. And it's amazing, it's magical. He's so um, okay, <laughs> then you're going through. I just, I, so much I have to leave out because of the time. So do get in touch if you ever want yes, any more. Yes, please do. Um, Messina is next. And this is where Shakespeare set Much Do About Nothing, which is one of his romances. And um, it's great. Now, I love the, the town square here, which at, every, at 12 o'clock is the largest, one of the largest mechanical clocks in the world. Uh, and go and see it at 12 o'clock and they all come out, all the figures. It's really incredible. Uh, go and enjoy Mount Etna, see the views, or follow in the footsteps of Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro and Al Pacino in The Godfather. And go and see some of the, uh, some of the villages around there, you know what I mean? That was my Godfather impression. Was that as good as the Ninja one? I oh, so. I'm not sure, actually. I'll have to get to do the Ninja one again, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, we're going to Rome. <laughs> Everyone just joins Don't us. Give up the day job. <laughs> Don't give up the day job, I know. Um, oh, I sound constipated, Rome. don't I? Uh, Rome's next. And of course, what can I say about Rome? The Eternal City, a chance to go and say hello to the Pope. Um, a chance for you to go and you know, throw the coin with Trevi Fountain, yep. a chance for you to go and see the views from the Spanish steps, a chance to hire a bike and go around Villa Borghese. Uh, it's an amazing, magical city. It is beautiful, isn't it? it really so is. romantic. What a cruise. Yeah, what a cruise, my what word. Cruise. Um, it is MSC Cruises, of course. That's 11 nights. Incredible on the MSC Fantasia. We're just seeing some details of that right now. This looks beautiful, Keith. It is a great ship. We talked about the quality that you associate with Italy, and just think about that here. Also, amazing variety of different foods that you can enjoy, great different restaurants to eat. And remember that with MSC, it's going to be, it's going to be an international experience. You're going to meet people from all all around the world uh, so if you really do like to travel and, and you love the fact of meeting yeah. new people then MSC is a great choice for you it really really it's is. a great choice as well look at that price um, this is incredible uh, 799 per person can you believe that of everything you've just at seen Easter, at is. Easter time oh and I want to tell you because a family of four is from only 2399 now at Easter
Easter time, as we know, sort of prices can go up on a lot of kind of holidays. This is incredible if you are thinking of taking the family away. And if they want a balcony, and I'd recommend the balcony, it's only 999 for the balcony. Now that's so good because some of those sailings like Malta, um, yes. you know, and going to, going to Athens and Rhodes uh, and Crete, it's just stunning. And you really do want to be on your own balcony saying hello to the ports and leaving them. Absolutely. All meals, all snacks and entertainment as well in there. So I think that's absolutely incredible. Mm. Jill works out at £73 per person per night. Isn't that great? And that's MSC for you. Now, we know that it is very, very busy. Um, back with, of course, our lovely experts. And we're going to talk to Chris Woodcock. So, Chris, I'm going to say hello to you. Hello. Hello, Hi, Chris. Chris. How are you today? All right. Very busy on the phone. I thought it, we thought it might be. It's incredible deals today as well. So taking lots of calls at the moment, Chris. Yeah, I would say uh, that the first one with the fjords, that was, uh, that was a good one to kick us off with. Uh, I, I've worked in the fjords myself, so I can personally tell you how beautiful they are. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the new ship, the Anthem, there's nothing nicer than going on a, a new ship with the, the paint still fresh. Oh, and uh, to make it all inclusive, can't be that at all. Um, which, is, which one's selling best at the moment, Chris? Which, which one's the, the kind of hottest on the, on the phone lines? The, the hot pick, the Transatlantic, 699 for a balcony. Yeah, We've absolutely. been tailor-making that one a lot and adding extra nights in New York to, to get the Christmas shopping done. Oh, that's, what a great way to do yeah. it as well. Chris, I know you're very, very busy. I know you want to take some more calls, so we're going to let you go. But thank you so much for having a chat with us. Thanks, Chris. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, lovely Chris at Planet Cruise, of course. And you can speak to him maybe in a few minutes as well. Um, now we've got <laughs> loads more to show you. Keith is going to talk us to Keith, now nobody saw your little sort of ninja thing, so I think you need to do it right now. Really? Yeah, you need it to do that. Yeah, up. yeah. Just, there you go. It had to be done. Had to be done. Now, Celebrity yeah, Cruises. <laughs> celebrity Cruises. This, of course, is on the Celebrity Eclipse. Don't give up the day job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of the day job, here's Keith on the ship. <laughs> With exceptional levels of service and a crew to guest ratio of one to two and well-designed and easy to navigate ships and a decor that's both sophisticated and contemporary, this is a cruise line who offer a very real sense of modern luxury. Celebrity Cruises have always pushed the boat out when it comes to dining. Not just in the sheer choice, but also the quality of the food that they offer. Experience savour menus pairing classic and contemporary selections from casual alfresco dining through to the stunning main dining room. And of course, there's an appetising range of quirky, excellent speciality restaurants. Matching a bar to your mood is what Celebrity does best. And there's a great range of beverage and wine packages offering great value. You can top up the tan while enjoying a margarita by the pool, or use your sea pass card and help yourself to another great glass of vino in Cellar Masters. You can soak up the sounds of the big band in the passport bar, or try one of the 64 craft beers available on board. My favourite though has to be here at the Molecular Bar, where tasting the work of the liquid chef will engage all your senses. Life on board Celebrity Cruises is an opportunity for you to enjoy your holiday just as you want it. From relaxing by the pool with a good book to a whole host of exhilarating and unique experiences, the choice really is yours. Cooking competitions, mythology classes, dance and language classes, informative lectures and behind the scenes access to the inner workings of a modern day cruise ship. When the sun sets, celebrity ships come alive with a dazzling selection of bars, lounges, nightclubs and casinos. You can relax with a cocktail, meet new friends, take to the dance floor or hit the casino tables. But keep an eye out for the interactive theme parties. You may even find dancers in exquisite costumes suddenly appear to entertain you. There's West End style theatre shows, dance, comedy, magic, music and an extraordinary front row seat waiting just for you. On a celebrity cruise, luxury comes as standard. There are six different varieties to choose from and over 85% have a private balcony. The design is smart, fresh and contemporary and all offer a great range of sumptuous amenities such as fluffy bathrobes, deluxe toiletries, Egyptian cotton bed linen and 24-hour complimentary room service. From comfortable inside staterooms to these gorgeous suites which feature floor-to-ceiling windows, panoramic balconies and your very own private butler. Trust me, once you've unpacked, you won't ever want to leave. Oh, he was a lovely chap, wasn't he? he was. Yes, a very nice my, chap. My evil twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> now you are seeing, of course, that was the celebrity clips that you were looking at from the lovely celebrity cruises. This is 69. I love this. 
Broadway and beaches. Yeah, oh, it's fantastic. And of course, it's a celebrity. Five-star luxurious cruising this. It yes. really is, Genevieve. Uh, a great opportunity for you to go and explore. Look at this, New York and Boston. Now, this is great because you, you, you got the, you know, sailing from Southampton, you've got this relaxing several days at sea on this ship. And bearing in mind that this ship wins so many awards, the mm. Eclipse. It's the, it's the ship I'll be doing the hosted cruise on next, uh, next year, going out to the fjords. And oh. it is an immense okay. ship. I absolutely love the Eclipse. Uh, it wins awards for everything, for food, for cabins, for embarkation for the entertainment but look at this Boston now this is a real rare opportunity to go I used to drop in here all the time with Cunard and, and, and I absolutely love this city dates back more than 350 years uh, and of course this is where the Boston Tea Party happened this is the center this is where the, the kind of the American Revolution kicked yeah. off there's a lot of history here uh, the, the locals are really friendly I love going there's a, there's, a, there's a restaurant you can go where they insult you well, you actually, well, they actually <laughs> insult you. It's brilliant. And you go there and basically they deliberately insult you. They, or the, the, the waiters are deliberately rude. And it's really, really funny because you, you, you're paying for this. It's great. So I recommend definitely going there. Do the Freedom Trail. Follow the red lines as you walk along the sidewalk. Um, if you like television history, the actual bar that was the model for Cheers is oh, here as well. Yes. You can go and enjoy that. Uh, Boston Common is amazing. It's like the kind of Boston's version of... Um, Central Park is incredible. Or you can go over and see Harvard University. Go over to Cambridge. Oh, I wish we had more time to talk know, about this. Now great. we're going on to New York after that. Put our on board and then we are in New York. Do you know, nearly 170 languages spoken in New York. It's really? an incredible place. The place mm. where you can shop till you drop. Um, I mean, you're going to sail in straight away. So you're going to go under, uh, uh, under the, the wonderful bridge. And as you go under the Brooklyn Bridge, you've then got Lady Liberty welcoming you in as she welcomed those, those tired and huddled masses. This, this isn't a magical place. You can see images there of Central Park. Park, you just caught off 843 acres. Go and say hello to an AK cowboy. Uh, go and enjoy New York cheesecake, Boney's bagels. If you do, you know what? I love Boney's bagels, and I used to go at go time. If you're a big fan of bagels, and they have moved over to the UK more now, go to Boney's and get one of his best. Um, then you've got a chance to go through to the Times Square, yeah. and from there, you can you know you can go out and maybe book a ticket, ticket to see an afternoon show in Broadway. Um, you can do the open top tour bus all the way around. Um, remember, you are going to sail past really close to Ellis Island and Lady Liberty, so that could be the one thing that you maybe leave until you sail right past because you get a really good view from the ship. Um, for views, Empire State Building, the top there is really good, but oh, also the top of the rock, the Rockefeller Center is brilliant. Um, again, I mean, this is iconic. Everyone's going to want to have their photo taken in Times Square. I also recommend um, just wandering round because all the um, NYPD, all the construction workers, it's like it's like something out of YMCA when I walk around New York. It's incredible. It's like they all, they're all glorious I know what stereotypes. You mean. They're exactly. glorious stereotypes yeah. of everything you see on TV. And I they love know it. it. Yeah, they know it as well. <laughs> they they do, pose. They, know they pose. It. <laughs> okay, now, relaxing day at sea. Yes. <laughs> and then we go to Bermuda. And now Bermuda, big fan of Bermuda. This again isn't visited enough in my view. Uh, King's Wharf is where you're docking. Whatever you do, try the local cocktail, dark and stormy, with the Navy Seal rum. It's absolutely beautiful. It's made with ginger beer and a squeeze of fresh lime. Um, you'll get a chance to go and explore the Royal Naval Dockyard. Uh, the whole island is full of beautiful beaches. Um, you'll see the, the policeman directing traffic in Bermuda shorts because that's where Bermuda shorts come from. This is the place. So obviously they're going to be wearing them. Um, it's got more golf courses per square mile than any other place in the world. So if you love your golf, definitely go here. Horse riding, uh, go and enjoy the south coast where you've got pink beaches uh, all made up of these crushed tiny bits of shells and try some of the spiny lobster. Relaxing day at sea and then you go over to Port Canaveral, the Space Coast. Uh, this is your chance to go through to Orlando, the, the land of adrenaline pumped fantasy is what I call this place. You know, this is great. I mean, Orlando itself has some really gorgeous, lush, quiet uh, neighborhoods, but you have on your front doorstep here, Walt Disney World. Now, if you've only got one date and you want to do your best, go to see some vintage Disney, go to the Magic Kingdom. There you're gonna have a Cinderella Castle, uh, you're gonna have the Haunted Mansion, if you don't want to do Disney, go to Legoland. Uh, that's the newest one. And if you've seen the Lego movie recently, which I did, uh, I absolutely love a Lego movie. And then you can go watch Gator Wrestling at Gatorland or get personal with penguins, sharks, dolphins and flamingos uh, at SeaWorld. Uh, so much to do, of course. We have got an amazing um, itinerary here for you. Um, now, don't forget, of course, you have got the free classic drinks package on this when booking a balcony or above. Return flights also. You can add a three-night stay in Miami for only 289 per person. I think that's well worth doing. Um, that ocean view, 1749 per person, I think incredible. And, of course, remember, that's under £110 per person per night. Um, we have got, of course, um, that 69th Broadway and beaches for you. So absolutely incredible.
incredible. Great. Um, now, don't forget, of course, you have got the celebrity drinks package as well. Um, this is, of course, all specialty teas, coffee, sodas, bottled water, non-alcoholic, selected beers, spirits, wines, a wide selection of alcoholic beverages in the specialty bars and restaurants, and enjoy 15% discount on all wines by the bottle purchased on board. That is incredible. Um, we have seen so much. Shall we have a run-through of everything that you've seen already? Now, first of all, it was the P&O on the Azura. This is absolutely fantastic. Details here for you, of course, a great price also on the P&O. Now, don't forget, just a $5.99 per person, which was absolutely great. An exclusive free gift on this also, and the Mion Valley Marriott as well, if you want to use that. Um, now, also, um, another special cruise as well. This was Carnival Cruises. Luke talked us through this, of course, from Carnival. Um, great price on this as well, one two four nine per person. That was 69 Grand Caribbean Cruise from Miami with a stay. That's your lead date there for 13th of February. Um, now, uh, next, of course, we had another fabulous cruise for you, the Royal Caribbean. Now, this was the maiden cruise, of course. This is the Anthem of the Seas. Free interior to balcony upgrade, lots of freeze on this, free drinks as well, free tips and free parking at a wonderful price. And more for you as well, of course, with so much Princess Cruises. And this was on the Diamond Princess. Again, another great price for you here. Japan and Russia, very unusual, with a Tokyo stay as well, 1769 per person. And then we went from there to the MSC. Um, another great cruise for you here as well. It is, of course, the MSC Fantasia. You had the exclusive cruise to Italy, Greece, and Turkey. Look at that price. No wonder they're busy. Uh, $7.99 per person. Um, and of course, we had the celebrity as well on the Eclipse. So if you do want to go for any of these and talk about them in detail to the experts at Planet Cruise, you can do also on the phones. Hot pick sizzling yeah. and one of the busiest as well today. Great. Queen Mary 2 again, ship I know personally. My last ship I worked on. This is eight nights, £549. You're not going to see better than this. Let's go over to New York. Let's go and get some Christmas shopping and then come back. Incredible. Look at that. Now, Look just at that. do balcony. Uh, it is incredible. And if you want to stay in touch, of course, with Planet Cruise, you can do so three ways the newsletter, you've got the magazine, of course, if you want to call up, and you can check out the new website as well. And do get interactive with us. Many ways to do that tweeting, you can look on Facebook, you can subscribe or email us at Planet YouTube Cruise. YouTube as well, got a great YouTube channel. Well, that you, yeah, do watch yeah. YouTube if you can as well. Please make sure you have a look at that. And um, now, don't forget, of course, this is quality assured, so you can book with confidence with the lovely experts. Do have a look on the website, of course, which is planetcruise.co.uk. There is so much to see there. And, of course, do call the experts on 0800 7815458. Which to choose? Oh, which to choose? I, I don't know. It's tough, isn't it? Broadway and Beach. Is that mm. carnival deal around the Caribbean? The was hot amazing. Pick. The hot pick. The yeah. hot pick as well. Right. Oh, you choose. You're going to have a chat with the operators. Thank you so much, Pleasure. Kate. <laughs> and thanks to Luke as well. Thank you to you for joining us here on Planet Cruise. We'll see you soon. Take care. Thank you.